We've been questing for a while, try to get a uh, liquid rocket engine to have combustion inside the chamber, and I think we finally got it. Um, first cool thing that we um, did to make it work um, was we built this new test stand. Um, it's cool because the fuel container can now sit right here above where the engine would be mounted, um, just like on the rocket. Uh, we can also point this sideways or down um, before we had uh, just been doing sideways tests. Um, but this will be more realistic um, to what it would be on a launch pad. So we can now test it like that. Um, but other than the test stand, um, we have kind of been combining some of our parts. Uh, this is our atomizer. This is um, the 10th version that we've tried. And this is the third combustion chamber that we've tried. It's a pretty makeshift way to hook them up. And this is actually just hot glue and a set screw here. Um, but the atomizer does a very good job at atomizing. Um, and this chamber, we think that the reason why this works well is because the nozzle is big enough. Um, but there was combustion inside the chamber. You could tell there's, there's no gap between the nozzle and the flame. So you can see that you can tell that the flame starts somewhere before the nozzle inside the chamber, which is which is what we've been trying to do. That's the that's the that's the point where it becomes a rocket engine instead of a flamethrower. So previous versions of the atomizer have just been like single piece. Um, the difference here is that um, let me pull this part out. Um, this is the fuel inlet. Um, there's a hole that comes all the way down and a 15 thousandths orifice um, at the tip. So just a little bit of fuel is coming in. Um, and then down here, uh, this is where the air comes in. The air comes in at a little bit of an angle, spirals around, and it would be spiraling around this when it's inside. Um, and then it kind of funnels in. We can also adjust the gap at the bottom here to allow uh, more or less air in. So if we if we close this all the way, screw it down as far as it can go, uh, theoretically there should be no air coming through, although it's not a perfect seal. Um, and so this would be very, very fuel rich. But then we can back it out a little bit to allow um, more air and adjust to get what we like. 